Howdy, howdy, Gamer Nation. How are we doing today? I did, I did. Um, I did get a new shirt. Thank you for asking. I love Brian. Welcome back to Sarah Plays Life is Strange True Colors, part, I don't even know what part of, are we on part seven? No. Time is just flying by, isn't it? We are on part six today, Game Nation. And it sounds like I'm saying gay nation. I'm saying game nation and gay nation. I hope that we're having a wonderful day. I woke up to terrible news today. Actually, I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm very sleep deprived, y'all. I'm loopy. I'm feeling a little silly up in here. I'm like starting to hallucinate, but it's kind of fun. Today, Princess, oh my God, I almost said Princess Diana. I'm sorry, I like I said, I didn't get any sleep. Um, not because of this, I just didn't sleep. Never mind. Queen Elizabeth died. R.I.P. Queen. But anyway, let's switch gears. Let's play some Life is Strange today. It's gonna be a good one. So everyone, pause this video, go get some popcorn, go get some wine, go get a snack. I got a little bit of wine in my SpongeBob sippy cup. It says my name. It says my name. Isn't that cute? We got Patrick on that side. I love, this is my favorite mug. So everybody, roll a blunt whatever you do and let's get on into it okay but first before we get started playing i'm feeling a little crusty i'm feeling a little musty i'm feeling a little dusty so i'm just gonna rub some of this stuff on it's the skin and lab pore barrier cleansing balm and this stuff has been the bomb for my skin and i have really sensitive skin and skin and lab is a global derma brand for sensitive skin so this stuff has been working perfectly for me and all of their products are allergen free cruelty free gluten free paraben free just free free spirited and it's 100 percent made in korea and i also have really sensitive eyes i don't know if you guys knew that about me but my eyes get irritated with everything so it's been really hard for me to find a cleansing balm or just cleanser in general that doesn't irritate my eyes like my eyes are just so sensitive but this stuff does not irritate my eyes it doesn't irritate my skin it's super mild oh shoot i just spilled some it's super mild yet super powerful at the same does that make sense it does what needs to be done without irritating me so what I do is I just like scoop a little bit of the balm out like that rub it between my little fingies like this oh and it smells so good y'all mmm and you just want to massage your face I can literally feel the blackheads melting off of my nose <laughs> I have so many blackheads on my nose, y'all. I use this every single night before I go to bed just to get all of my makeup off and just to make sure that my face is as clean as possible. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what it's like when you actually have eye makeup on and how much makeup comes off with this stuff. So the balm consistency is so creamy and it's literally like milk, you guys. Look at it, it drips off you like milk and it takes off all of my waterproof mascara and I had waterproof eyeliner on, you guys. And it works really perfectly with eyelash extensions too, so you don't have to worry about your eyelash extensions getting ruined. Woo! Oh my god, my face is literally tingling. It feels so fresh. It also effortlessly dissolves any waterproof makeup that's on your skin. Skin and Lab also sent me some other products that I'm excited to try. This is the Vitamin B Hydrating Gel Cream. Uh, this is the Vitamin C Brightening Serum. And this is the High Barrier Fresh Sun Lotion, SPF 50. But the Pore Barrier Cleansing Balm is my absolute favorite right now. And if you guys want some of this beautiful stuff on your own, just scroll down to my description box and click the link right there. And you can order your own Pore Barrier Cleansing Balm on Amazon Prime. And you guys can use my discount code right here for 30% off for a limited time only though. So take advantage of it. Two weeks. So you can use that for two weeks. Thank you so much Skin and Lab for sponsoring this video. My skin feels and smells exquisite and I'm ready to get started. Let's get into the video. Wow, Sarah, your skin looks glowing. 
Okay, so what happened last time? So basically I had to make a choice between Ryan or Steph. I don't know if this was my character choosing who I was more attracted to, which is really tragic because I'm attracted to both and I only picked Ryan because I thought it would be an easier option. Whatever. Um, but I'm attracted to Steph too and I'm still conflicted on who I want to date. I hope that Steph doesn't look at that and be like, aww. She's straight. Cause I'm not! I really hope that didn't blow my chances with her. Like I still want Alex to like be gay. Cause I, I didn't give you guys a gay story last time in Life is Strange 2 with Sean. I'm gonna try, I guess, to like steer back into Steph's peripheral. I don't know if I'm completely out the window for her now. Who knows? Let's figure that out, try to navigate that. But also me and Ryan really bonded, so I don't really know what to do with myself. Anyway, Ryan was the distraction. He went and he asked whatever that bitch's name is. Diane? The girl that works with Typhon or whatever. He went and stole the USB stick that has all of the tea on it, okay? And then Ryan took the USB stick to, why am I forgetting everyone's name? The cute little flower shop girly. Riley. What the fuck is her name? He took the little USB stick to the flower shop girly because apparently she's a whiz at technology. So she's behind the scenes at this little flower shop just like downloading all the tea on the computer. So we're gonna figure out what the tea is finally. And now I'm in a LARPing tournament with the little dweeb. I, w I keep wanting to say Daniel, but I know it's not Daniel. Ethan. Oh my God, y'all. No sleep, okay? I'm sorry, I'm really struggling today. Also, it's been like a week since I've played this. What is the little dweeb's name? It's Ethan. Whatever. I'm LARPing with this little dweeb. We're killing it. We're doing amazing. And that's pretty much where we're at now. A lot of the people in the comments last time were saying that like the LARP gets really crazy. So I'm excited to explore and see what happens. I'm not really sure how a LARP can get too crazy, but apparently it does. Let's just get on into it. Okay, where did I leave off? What do I have to do? Find the soul amethyst. Okay, that is my mission. Get out of my way, dweeb. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Where's the record store? <laughs> Could I like be something down the alley. Down the alley. Oh! <gasps> is that a is that a person? What the Shh. They're here. <gasps> Woe is me. Woe is me! Is he dead? Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Uh, Just down uh, there. Near the river. Girl, where's the river? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> Not again, bro. Some kind of snake? I guess... He needs to get a hobby. Do we have to fight it? Why He's wouldn't so cute. We? Would this count as me like flirting with him if I'm like, it's cute? I'll just say it's cute. Even though, ugh, fuck. I mean, it's kind of cute, isn't it? And not goofy looking at all. Aww. <gasps> What are you talking about? What was that? It's getting an attack. What do you want to do? Um, I don't fucking care. Maybe calm it? Hey, we're not here to hurt you. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Oh shit. Scroll of advantage. Scroll of advantage. We gain an extra turn. Nice. Now, let's do some magic on him. Fire blast. Fire blast. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Strike of wrath. Strike of wrath. <laughs> Stamped. <laughs> Untuned cord. One damage. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Two damage. Good one. Well, watch this. Actually, actually, scroll of nimbleness. Scroll of nimbleness. Plus one dodge to us. Yeah, ho. Let's use your burning, burning blade. blade. One damage, and you're on fire for the next two turns. That's what's up. Okay. Untuned cord. Untuned cord. One damage. You're dead. Spitting venom. What? Dodge. No damage. Period. Stab. <sighs> and you're dead. Two damage. Bye bye. <sighs> yep. I have no idea what I just did, but I like that. More loot. 
Give me the loot. All right. Let's make some ears bleed. Nice. I do that anyway. Wait. What's that? Just my voice. It's like a dragon scale or something. Dragon Maybe tails, it's got dragon tails. Let's hang on to it. On and yeah. off, dragon tails. Take my hand and come along. It's all aboard the dragon song. Are you <laughs> bummed that, that we had to kill the snake? Nah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't care. I'm playing hard to get. Dragon tails, dragon. Do you guys remember that show? Come okay. along and take my hand. We handled the river. All aboard the dragon land. <laughs> Yo, that show was so fucking good. I used to love that shit. Okay, where is the tavern place again? How am I forgetting okay, Ethan. where I work and what I'm I do? Feynor. Is this it? Yeah, that's Looks what's like up. Let's all go to dragon land. <laughs> Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. That's gonna be stuck in my head this entire game. I'm sorry. I just want to make out with Steph. Where is she? Maybe the amethyst is in here? Is LARPing like an actual activity that people do? Have you guys ever LARPed? What's the protocol on that? Is it like a community thing? Like actually? Let's all go. Oh, what happened here? Oh, what? Is this a part of the... What happened here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Fellow survivors, I see. He does not want to be here. Shots? Who are you? Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. I feel like this is kind of traumatic for him. Let's see what we can find around here. Like the limbs and shit? Like there's like limbs and blood and shit. Like look at this. There's just broken legs and arms and blood. This is so not the vibe. Okay, I think I checked all the compartments. Does nobody care that I just lost my brother and he just died and there's just limbs laying around everywhere? Like, look, a bloody leg. Are we kidding? Ugh, rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. <gasps> what if that was just my brother? In like a creepy, twisted way, they just did that and it just turns really dark. Anyway, what am I Do supposed to- Do you think we could have prevented this if we got here earlier? Girl, we can't do shit. We were busy. Ho. I doubt it. We were probably talking to King Tabor when it happened. Ew! Get that out of my face! <gasps> Period! Feynor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! Got to be what? <gasps> the amethyst. It's one of the jewels. I just did that. Cool, 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 cool. I look so hot. Only one more jewel left. Let's do this. Let's do this. I just want to know why they had to go so hard on the props. Like, girl, we're all grieving. This is whack. Whack behavior. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Okay, I've got one jewel left. Maybe it's in the record store. Check out what I found in that chest. Oh, shit. <laughs> you and your allies will dodge the next attack. Nice work, Thaynor. Good job, Thay Thay. 
Okay, let's go to the record store because I remember I was talking to myself there was earlier. Some really interesting stuff in there. Yeah, I'm so sorry you had to witness that. You shouldn't have had to go through that. Where is the record store? <laughs> This game is just like outing my terrible direction skills. I there, bet there's something fun in the room. I'm going. Store. Here we go. It looks like a donut shop. Oh, there. I hear you've dealt with the serpent and the troll. Okay, here's I'm the press. And that's no easy task. How do I get in? Oh. <laughs> I wager the magpie has trinkets for adventurous folk. Can you shut up? Please knock twice. Go for it. How many times is that? Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Monster or mortal? Steph. Mortal. Make out with me. Come in. Oh, I bet she's gonna look really hot in whatever like little get up she's in. Oh Sorry shit. Sorry about the lock. <gasps> These are dangerous times. Girl. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh my god, she looks oh. so hot. So, this is like a magic shop. Wait. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Her as a witch? Let's see what Steph's done to the place. This is hot. This is hot. I kind of want to read your mind. What's your vibe? How you feeling? I care about you. Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. <gasps> I need to get over it. Never seen Steph all twisted up like this before. No! Surely she knows she's hot too. Yeah. She's always so confident. <gasps> oh my God, she's thinking about how I don't think she's hot. Can I tell her that she's hot? It I need to tell her that she's the hot. The streets used to be full of people. Steph, you're hot. Can I just please tell you that? Why can't I tell you that? Oh my god, this is so tragic for me. I fucked up, you guys. Looking at her in that outfit, damn, I'm in my feelings. The soul sapphire's right <gasps> there. For yep. sale. Oh shit. This is the last one that we needed, huh? Oh wait, I kind of wanted to look at the place first because you guys are going to roast me for not looking at the place. So I'm going to look at the place. I am the only vendor of magical items in the kingdom. That's hot. Okay, let's look at this tapestry. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. Okay. Love the apron. How much money do we have? Who made this? This is good. We've got two gold. Record. Love it. I should probably look at that, though. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. Mmm. Yeah, so tell Steph that. Why do I have no game? Okay, what's this? Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. Y yeah. You're telling me, bitch. Come to the mag. Does that say magpie? Can I read? Magpie. Come to the magpie eufor euphorium. Am I? Am I okay? Emporium on Sunday evenings. Meet other. I'm not even gonna try to read that. Not gonna put you guys through that. Oh, another thing. Wonder to read. if they have drills for this. Gather those who matter, Steph. Only. Cast protective circle. Create illusion in other direction. Huh? Archmage. Girl. I can't read. What's this? This is cute though. Oh, she like tried so hard and like set it up so cute, especially for him. Me forgetting his name still. Sorry. Um, what's this? Golems. Animation fee not included. Ew, I kind of hate oh, those. Oh, Steph. So, ooh, that's creepy. That looks like what I got my ex boyfriend for Christmas, but then I painted over it so it didn't look so scary. And it didn't have those beady eyes in it either. But that's like the same exact size and facial expression. That actually looks legit. No, that looks exactly like what I got Will. Crazy. 
Isn't it so crazy to think that that's just like what's inside of our heads? Ew, that's so scary to think about. Like that's what our bones look like in our face. Ew! I don't think I would ever want to see mine. Like an x-ray of my skull. I just, I don't want to see that. Ooh, that's cool. Can I steal it? I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars. But I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Ugh, Alex just gets me. She gets me on my music journey. Why didn't I choose her? She's like a DJ. Oh my god, she's so hot. I want to go back. I hope that I get another choice. Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. Yeah, I knew that in the first episode. Tarot cards. Oh my god, can... And Steph can read tarot. What do I want insight about? Steph. My love life. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Hmm. Really? A card of... Oh, shit. A card of self center. Oh no, is that how she's feeling right now? <gasps> can you please just surrender yourself to me and just tell me that you like me? Yeah, how's Ryan feeling about me? Is that true <gasps> for Ryan? I hope so. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm leading Ryan on so bad. Wait, this is so bad. I don't like Ryan anymore. Oh no! I think he just like gave me the ick really bad. Mm, just like seeing him in those stupid little costumes. Like it was cute, but it kind of gave me the ick! Oh, like ew, him in that dinosaur costume. Ugh, oh, I don't like Ryan anymore, guys. Fuck, I fucked up. Okay, um, me. Uh, what? <gasps> A card of necessary choices equal temptations. <gasps> That's literally how I feel. Oh shit. Yes. Okay, things. My power. This is the best part of the game so far. My power? You were right, Gabe. Cherry. I'm a superhero. A card of determination, focus, and the sculpting of one's own destiny. Okay, that's me, Ryan, and Steph. And I'm the bitch in the back. Oh my god, this is too real! Okay. Haven? Yikes. Oh shit. A card of endings. Inevitable transit. Mm. That's me on the horse. The horse is Ryan because I'm leading him on. <laughs> I'm leading him astray. But I'm leading him towards Steph because I actually want Steph. <laughs> and I'm this. It looks like I'm the skeleton, right? Like I'm just so dead inside. Because <laughs> I know that I fucked up and I know that Ryan's hot. Look at him. He's a stallion. He's hot. But I know that I want Steph. Look at her, my queen. Just waiting for me right there. And she went through it. Like she went through it for me and she's still there for me in the end. Okay, maybe I'm reading too much into this. Okay, um, Typhon. Holy shit, <gasps> too real. A card of power and domination in the... Me, Ryan, and Steph. Do I even want them? Is this just my ego because I'm scared of being alone? And so I'm projecting all of my shit onto them? Do I even like them? I like them. But I don't even know them that well, you know what I'm saying? Is this just my anxious attachment style coming into fruition? And I'm the devil? <laughs> Am I the drama? No, I'm not the drama. Am I the drama? Am I the drama? Oh my god, I'm so the drama. Okay. I feel bad. Whatever. All right. I looked around. That was really cute, Steffi Weffy. Oh, there's more guitars. I bet you guys are so proud of me for looking around. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. Right now? I'll do that. Naked. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to be making all of this sexual, but like, I have a quash. How does Steph come up with all these names? Oh, she cares so much. 
it's really cute, you know? Like, when your crush has a thing, like when they have a thing that they're really into. And you just don't really get it that much, but since you have a crush on them, you kind of like entertain it and you just think it's cute when they like talk about it. That's how I feel. Like, aw, look at you writing on a scroll with ink and a feather, probably. You're so nerdy and hot. Okay. You guys, I think I'm just like really horny. <laughs> Ugh, my parents are watching this. Sorry, guys. That was a joke. That's not ominous at all. Okay. Okay. Cute. That's a cool poster. I actually really fuck with that. Is that the Beatles? That's supposed to be the Beatles? All right, let's get this bad boy and leave. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. What does haggle mean? Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Make a deal. That's what it means. Thank you, bro. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? For a kiss? <gasps> For my hand in marriage. Yes, yes. This is my redemption arc. Oh my god, this is my redemption arc! In exchange for something far more valuable. <laughs> my hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. <laughs> yes! I'm sure this isn't the first time someone's asked you. <gasps> given your obvious hotness. Oh yes, bitch! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, I mean... Uh-huh. Oh, man. This just got real. Oh, yeah, it did, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Why am I, like, I'd literally hot? I'd be if I said I wasn't intrigued. But I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. Why? <gasps> oh, we have some things to talk about. We need the sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. Steph, we'll circle back to this. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the river of sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales and I'll give you the sapphire a fish. In Girl, what? And then can you kiss me? And take my hand in marriage. One magic fish. Oh, stick. I already have it. Impressive. There we go. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. <gasps> okay. Okay. <laughs> His face. Aw, he's so happy. We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. And where the fuck is the king? Um, okay. Oh my god, bye, girly. I fucking love you. Can I give you a kiss? Like, for real? A hug, at least? Oh, I can't even go back there. Girl, just, like, give me something. I'm really glad that I redeemed myself by flirting with her a little bit. But then at the same time, does that just mean that I'm leading her on even more? <gasps> I winked. Oh, yes. Girl, where did this game come from all of a sudden? Wow, I really understand how fuckboys feel. Just so many options. You know what I'm saying? So many options. <sighs> And then when one option is just way too easy, you get bored. Oh my god, I like understand fuckboys now. Am I a fuckboy? God, I want Steph because she's hard to get. But like I said, I'm really happy that it gave me the option. I'm still thinking about that tapestry. The blacksmith making the sword? Yeah. Okay, where the fuck is the king? Oh, I think he's this way. But yeah, anyway, I'm really happy that I was able to flirt with her. But then does that make her more confused? And does the plot just thicken for me? 
Oh my god, because I'm already leading Ryan on so hard, huh? Wait, how do I get to the... I don't even remember where he was. Oh, he was in the park, right? Now I'm so fucking stressed about my love life. <laughs> Ryan's gonna be so crushed. Oh my god. I'm just being so selfish, huh, you guys? Okay, can I go any faster? <laughs> where the fuck is this little dweeb? Where'd he go? Wait, where is he? Isn't he supposed to be following me? Or did he already pass me? Wait, what? Oh, there you- is that him? Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go, bro. How the fuck did you lose me? Keep up. I think he's in here, right? Was Burger King just sitting in that same spot? How the fuck do I get to Burger King? Was he just sit- who- what the fuck? Yo, come get your dollar, bro. Like, do you not see it? Gabe, you would have really had fun with Okay, all this. what are you doing? Oh my god, it's my mom. <laughs> How embarrassing. Feynor, the monster slayer, you've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Netheria. The forest spirit. Sure. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look. There. The... What is that? Oh no, please don't be Ryan again. I am going to barf if he jumps out into another character, dude. I swear. The Sky Sword. The sky sword. It's the sky sword of power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. Aww. It's got the pincer and the same grip, and it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Aww. I'm like, I don't fucking Can I know. Really take it? <laughs> I'm like, this is literally my third day in town. I'm just gonna. Of course. Yeah. Nefaria said so, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, please don't lag. Okay. Sorry if my shit's kind of laggy. I don't know what's going on. Oh, look at me. I'm so. Oh. This is really cute, actually. This is really cute. <gasps> He just kills me with it. <laughs> Slices my head off. That's how the game ends. <laughs> Whoa, what? How the fuck? Excuse me? How did he just... Did that happen? Am I dreaming? Is he the demon? Oh my god, he's a demon. Me just with my stupid guitar, like, um... I don't know what to do in this situation. Bard, a song if you please. Um, yeah. Right on it, master? Question mark? Even though you're 11? Prophecy fulfilled. The prophecy's fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Surpassed. Wait, why is he kind of freaking me the hell out? What the fuck, you guys? You guys were right when you said this shit gets weird. Um... <laughs> Burger King's the demon? Wait, how are they doing this? Oh, is this- I'll take that sword now. And the jewels. Storm Rider, the undead. I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! 
You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me. How do they have the budget for this? <laughs> like, that was a crazy production, bro. Like, him coming out from the ground? Like, that must have cost thousands. Um, shit. I'll encourage. We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Dude, I suck. Oh my god, I get it. Because when I was in the... Sh Sorry, I, didn't, I don't mean to pause this and, like, keep talking and interrupting. But when I was in the shop with Steph just now, after I grabbed that last jewel, oh, I should have hassled her for one of the other scroll things because this is my final battle. This is like the big boss and I feel like I don't have enough shit. Okay. Give them to me. All right, Burger King. <laughs> Make me a Whopper. <laughs> no pickles. Yo, fuck my life. Oh shit, this is like an actual... What? What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, what do I do? Girl, this is my worst nightmare. Are we playing Mario? Like, what the fuck? Fuck. Horrid disharmony. Yes. Horrid disharmony. Yeah, bitch. Oh. Wait, that was sick. Okay. Attack. Um, Strike of Wrath. Strike of Wrath! Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes! Ah. No health left. What? Unconscious. Are you kidding me? Oh, I have, like, no health. <gasps> what? I didn't even know you could... Shit, dude. We're gonna lose. No, we're not. Magic? Um, <laughs> fuck you guys. Shield of courage! Yep. Wait, oh fuck. Oh shit. <gasps> Did I just kill him? <gasps> Yo, that's what's up, baby! Now I'm gonna attack him with my burning blade. Burning blade! Uh huh. Unholy lightning storm! Oh, fuck my life. Death to all who defy me! Cool. We died. Crap. I'm knocked out. Nice. Well, now what? Oh, shit. I still got... Oh, fuck. Scroll of healing, Scroll bitch. Of healing. Because I have that. Hell yeah. <gasps> We're at full health? Wait, this is lit? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now what? I'm gonna do my, um... Oh, I can't do that one anymore? Fuck. Um, shit. Um... Nope. Fuck. I'll stab him. Okay. Okay. What? I can't use my... Untuned core. Untuned core. Oh. Yep. <gasps> Wait, did I? No. Uh, Girl. Curse this fire. Yeah. That's what's up. Curse this fire. Okay. Well. Wait. Let me look at my items again. What's nimbleness again? I forgot what nimbleness meant. Should I just use it? Oh my god, you guys are screaming at me. Do I attack him while he's... Burning Blade, right? Or, or he's already on fire. Oh my god, I don't know what to fucking do. Should I just burn him again? Or, uh... I'm gonna do the... Scroll... Scroll of nimbleness. I have no idea what that means. Oh fuck, okay. I don't even know what that was. I'm just gonna stab him again. I'll just do burning blade. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Untuned core. Untuned core. Oh. No. 
shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Curse this fire! Okay, he keeps saying curse this fire. So I'm just gonna stab him now. Oh! Um, I don't have any items left. Can't use Thanor. So all I have is Untuned Core? Untuned Core! Oh. oh, did we just win, bitch? Oh, nope. Uh, uh. Curse this fire! Okay, stop saying that! I don't know what to do with that information! Ugh. Um... Fire blast again? Maybe! You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna. Burning blade! I don't fucking know. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't even know. I didn't even see that bar at the top. Sorry, guys. I'm like so in this. Okay. Let me just attack him again. Untuned core. That's gonna get him, right? Yep. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go. 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 Yo. Y'all didn't believe in me. I can't believe what just happened. Wow. Um, obviously I'm gonna say that's epic. That last fight was epic. <laughs> epic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loves yeah, me. But the best part was finding... Oh no. Don't. Jesus. And how is this happening, actually? The production value. What? Shit. Dude. Dave's dead. Gabe's dead because of me. It's my fault. Are we on mushrooms? I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. No, you didn't. Ethan? <sighs> Listen to me. It wasn't your fault. At all. What? What? Why did that just happen? Oh, because it it's over? Okay. It wasn't. Hmm. It's like, I want to celebrate and take a shot. Not in real life, but in the game. But, oh, he just got so triggered. Oh, man. I have so many questions. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but just like, how was that all real? This is what I was talking about. Like, I feel like the LARP was just too soon. We could have postponed this. Charlotte? Back here? Wait, I'm so confused. Oh my God, did I give him weed gummies on accident? Is he high? What? Did that even happen? Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? What? Yeah. They just left. Huh? I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Hmm. I'm not going to be selfish, okay? Glad I could help. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. Yeah. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. Hmm. I... I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. Oh. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay.
Okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. For sure. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you do have a lot going on. Was that the I right thing to say? I can imagine. Yeah. Getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Wait, I feel like both of those responses are not good. Because I don't want to say, you sure? But then I also don't want to say, are you really okay? I feel like both of those are not the move. She set a boundary with me. So I don't want to keep pressing her and be like, are you really okay? You know, maybe I'll just say, you sure? Are you sure? If you oh, she rolled her me, eyes. I'm Fuck. Said no. Fuck, don't you listen? Oh my gosh. Dude, the other option was not good either. This was a mistake. Oh my god, Where I, did that anger come oh from? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Wait, oh my god, everyone's texting me. It is not the time. It is not the time. I just checked my phone. Well, okay. Oh, guys, what the fuck? I'm, I'm confident with that. I feel like she would have gotten mad either way, so whatever. Okay, Ducky says, Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm so glad I could participate in today's live-action roleplay. Okay. It brings me back to my days in theater. Oh, he was a theater kid. That's really cute, Ducky. The more I learn about him, the more I like him. Did I ever tell you that I once... Aside? Asay? Asayed? Ah! I don't know how to say that. I once assayed... The role of Falstaff in my school's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor? No, Ducky, you've never mentioned that to me one time. We've just genuinely had surface-level conversations. With enough liquid prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses. And thank you for including me in the- Oh, It's nice to take my- Oh, my mind off things. Anyhow, you enjoy your first spring festival. I can still remember mine. Clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Remember at the beginning, or in the last episode, when I went up to him, and he was like, this is gonna be a long fucking day. And he was all grumpy and shit. And so the fact that he texted me, that was really sweet. Oh, and then I said, oh, thank you, Ducky, you were wonderful. That was it. In real life, I would have, like, chimed in on that really personal, sweet information that he provided, too. Whatever. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. What is Steph saying? Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Shit. Sounds like his dad is picking him up in a few hours too. FML. Any ideas? Let me try talking. Oh, this is when I was talking to him. Hero. I need a hero. I'm holding on for a hero to the end of the night. Thank you so much. You totally killed it. You killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Thanks. <laughs> you were pretty amazing too, you know. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> I'm literally blushing. Aw shucks. Oh my god. Let's kiss. Wait, where did it go? What did Riley say? Hey, I made Ryan tell me what the USB is for. He was being vague for my own protection. Oh. Don't worry, I'm going to try my best to get you access. OMG! <laughs> no guarantees. Depends on how good the password is. Thank you so much for even trying. We weren't sure if you would. Well, you deserve the truth. I know that's right. The whole thing's shady as shit. Mac was hiding something bad enough to make him run away. Anyway, I'll be at the shop if you need anything. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay, let's... What is the tea? Oh my 
god, my whole controller is vibrating! What? Don't end it there. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Can she just see me, like, lurking around, though? I feel like that's really inappropriate. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? Ryan? <gasps> oh, shit, did I just do that? Oh, fuck. Does everyone hate Ryan? Oh, shit. Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you. But I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. What did I do, queen? I just literally showed up. I'm just breathing. Girl. Name one thing that I did. Name... Okay. I can actually name a few things. I definitely told your son to go hiking by himself, but... Okay. That's valid. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Yeah. Damn. She hates... She's so angry at everyone around her but there's something else here ew what is wrong with me i can't let myself feel this way when did i become such a fucking monster what if I'm the monster? What did... Girl, you're just grieving. Ethan, it's your fault. Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. Mmm. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet and he's creative. And he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I can deal with hating Ryan. Or you. Or even Gabe. But Ethan. If he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. Ugh. It all comes back to that. Yeah. 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 Your feelings matter. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. 
your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters. Let me just zip my lips. He's dead. No, I get it. I wish I were too. I get it. That wasn't this about me. anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. Yeah. What if... I could just... Take it away. How? What? I can do it. I can take her anger from her. Okay. Okay. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? No, she needs to feel. Oh, she needs to feel it. Oh, fuck. Dude, she needs to go through this process. You know? Fuck, dude. She's literally grieving. But I do have the option to literally take her anger away so she doesn't hate her son. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, my armpits are so sweaty right now. Wait, what the fuck? This is so annoying. Here I go having psychological warfare with myself yet again. So if I leave her alone... She's going to be able to grieve in a natural way and, like, process these emotions because everything that she's saying is valid. Like, Ethan didn't listen to her and he still, you know, went up there and, you know, did his thing, which did cause my brother to get killed. But at the end of the day, he's just a kid and, like, it wasn't his fault. It was just a mistake. But if I leave her alone, then she's just going to fucking hate Ethan. But also, I think that... These are just like a lot of feelings all at once at the beginning of the grieving process that she needs to work through. And then she'll be able to like forgive him because she'll realize that he was just a kid, you know? Um, if I take Charlotte's anger, then she wouldn't hate Ethan so much. But then what the fuck is that gonna do to her like is she gonna be really confused that she's not in this process of grief and she just like switched all of a sudden and then is she, is she gonna think that I'm sus is she gonna feel even worse is she gonna turn into depression because she like feels bad for like not being fuck bro there's so many fucking ways this could go you guys, I genuinely, like, obviously I want to take her pain away. Like, if I could do this in real life, I would. Like, you know that saying, when someone is grieving or going through something terrible, you're like, I wish I could take the pain away, but you just can't. But I can! Maybe I should just do that. My sister's probably screaming at me right now through the screen. Oh my god, I might just take her anger away and just see what happens. Because I just don't want... Like, Ethan, like, needs her right now. And I don't want her to hate Ethan, you know? It was just a freak accident. And it was also, like, my fucking fault. If we really boil it down, I should have told my brother in the beginning. Fuck, this is crazy! I'm just gonna... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, but she's allowed to feel angry! What did I just do? Wait. Oh, now I have the anger? Oh, do I have the anger now? Fuck, guys. Alex? I'm okay. No, I'm happy with that. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I... I think so. Okay. Cool. Shit. Did I freak out on you? <laughs> no, girl! I'm sorry, Alex, I'm... 
Not sure what came over me. Ha! <laughs> it's chill. It's chill. No worries. <laughs> it's really okay. I'm a big girl. <gasps> Wait, but... I can take it. Oh, fuck, dude. Is this me, like, using my powers to manipulate people and, like, low-key gaslight them? Oh, fuck me. That was tricky. <laughs> I wrecked my sculpture. Seems so crazy in here, but I feel... Oh, fuck. She doesn't even know how she feels. God damn it. How do I feel? Damn it. Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. Okay. I'll see you tonight. Maybe the... Okay, fuck. I'm so confused. How do I feel as the player? Like, I don't want her to feel bad for, like... See, this is what I was saying. Like, is she going to feel guilty for, like, freaking out? And now she's, like, fine? I don't want her to feel bad! I just wanted to take her pain away. Because, dude, that pain is deep. What would you guys have done? Don't spoil it. Don't ruin it. But the people that have not played this game yet, and they're just watching me play it for the first time, which one would you have done? I would like to know. And the people that, ha that have played this game, shut your lips. Okay? Shh. Shut your lips. No spoilers. Damn, now I feel weird. Hear me out. <gasps> Steph! Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously oh, triangle no. shaped logo. Boom. Finally cracked it. Hey. Alex. Fuck. So. How did things go with Charlotte? Oh, Ryan's so sweet. <sighs> I'm just gonna say I think, I think she's okay. It was intense. But God. I think maybe she'll be okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to even talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to. So, please Aww. tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. Oh, here we fucking go. Oh no. I need to know. Okay. We're here for you. Wait, what did Ethan okay. say? He texted me. Can everyone just chill? Um, hey Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing, really. You are a badass. Watch your language, but you don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. Oh my god. Like, if he even knew that his mom, like, hated him and, like, felt those feelings, like, those deep-seated hatred feelings for him, I don't want him to go through that. So that's why I took... Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Let's play this thing. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll halt the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Okay. Thanks, Mac. It's not about Whatever. you. Just doing my job. Okay. I just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. Wow. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Alex. You okay? Damn. We're gonna get him. I promise. 
What the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Fuck that. I don't need to take this. Whoa, Steph? Huh? Oh no. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? Oh my god. Why did Steph react that way? I mean, I get it, but... Oh no. Right now, all that matters is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Okay. Can I have a sip of this brewski first? A cold case and a warm beer. Okay. I'm just gonna get right on to it. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Wait, 8.46? Is that what she just said? Oh, 8.41. Okay, I can do this. Okay, so here is the phone call that we're talking about. This, I'm assuming, is the phone call right after that. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. He's a We're kid. Talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? Capitalism. Yeah. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon <gasps> thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. Holy fuck. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Are you kidding me? I killed last night because of a decision you made. I th I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? <sighs> now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this. But, but damn. Damn. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me. Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Yeah. Oh my god. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. Uh, a simple phone call. Can you speak more about that? Of course. 
Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line. Oh my have god. Us that there were people in the danger zone and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blast. Snake. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. Holy fuck. Listening to that. Diane. Diane. What a flat out snake. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, deputy. You have good news for deputy. me? Deputy. I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation mm. is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Wow. Holy fuck. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane? Can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just... Well, we've all been following the news and... I don't know. After that accident... Joe? I just want to be sure... There really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Uh, yeah. Okay, here are the emails. Wait, when was that last call? That was, um, 4.28 at 8.43. Okay. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Sender Jake Diane Jacobs to I warned you, Lena, I fucking warned you. Rhea went off undetected as you insisted, and now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I am not going down for this. At least not alone. I understand that you're upset and emotional about tonight's trap. No fucking shit, it was a kid, bro. And my brother, you fucking dumb bitch. My god, Lena. Unavoidable, uh, unavoidable accident. Fuck you. She bold underlined that shit. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of ju- Oh, please. Oh, please. I'll be calling first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. Okay, so that's what those calls are about. This is the email Diane mentioned. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night. A second one? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a version. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. Mm. If I can find where that blast off. It might tell me why it was so important. So where was this second blast? Oh shit, so I have a file? Oh. This is Rhea. Oh shit. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Um, got you. It's right here, queen. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? What? They weren't mining for anything. <gasps> They were burying something. Or someone. Ooh, I just unlocked. Ooh! 
burying something. Oh my god, I completed chapter three! Oh my god, okay, let's view our stats. Holy shit. I'm nervous about this a little bit. Okay. Ryan chose to distract Diane. Or Alex chose Ryan to... Damn! Yeah, I get that. 58% wanted Alex to... You guys know my thought process on that. But, oh my god, my camera's about to die, so I'll dissect this without you guys seeing me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll just keep it going until it dies. Okay. Alex took Charlotte's anger from her. Okay, period! So that was kind of like a split decision between the community. Um, I was overthinking that a lot. And I get why. Everybody was. But I'm in the 53 per- Okay! I can rock with that. Alex made Diane sad. Okay, 75%. Oh, I could have made her angry. Okay, Alex did not play the record. It's just like, girl, there's too much going on right now. We don't have time for this. But I could have, like, turned on a vibe, you know. Um, Alex did some weeding on the rooftop. Of course I did. I got to attend to my plants. They're alive, too, you know. Both Ethan and Alex were knocked out in battle. What? Are you kidding me? That could have been avoided? 96% was Ethan and Alex were never knocked out. Wow. So you guys were probably screaming at me during that. M shit. I, I tried my best, okay? I haven't played, like, that Mario game. What was that called? The one where they all fight each other and shit. I haven't played that since I was like six. So just give me a second. Okay. The troll was killed in battle. Of course it was. I'm a legend. The serpent was slain in battle. Oh, I could have put him to sleep. But like, he's a snake. And he was threatening me. Oh, I could have put him to sleep though. I didn't have to cause harm. But I don't know. Like, what if he attacked me? Steph stormed out of the apartment. 53%. Okay, what was the other option? Steph helped Alex find out what the typhoon was up to. Typh- Sorry, I keep calling it typhoon. Typhon. Steph helped Alex. Interesting. Interesting. King Ta- King Tabor was- King Tabor- Tabor was vanquished. I don't- you guys can roast me for not being able to pronounce that. Vanquished, vanquished, vanquished in the final battle, 100%. Okay, period. That would have been so embarrassing if I was in the 0%. So thank God. But also, I'm kind of pissed that everyone got 100% because I thought that I really did something there, you know? But I mean, it was a big brain moment, but like apparently it was super fucking easy to do that. So whatever. Um, Riley doesn't know about Eleanor's condition. I'm so surprised that she doesn't know yet. Like, how do you not? Like, girl, you're with your mom every day. Like, how do you not suspect something's a little fishy? You know? I don't know. But like, okay. Ignorance is bliss. Alex didn't play the song Stuck in the Student's Head. What? I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, Alex and Ethan didn't solve the Jester's Riddle. Who? I don't even... Oh, it was that guy that was yapping at us on the street. I, I just thought he was just cracked out. Like, I thought he was just fucking blabbing. But apparently he was a part of the plot. <laughs> I genuinely thought he was a crackhead. Okay. My bad, dude. Okay. Alex and Ethan didn't tell the blacksmith the ingredients. Okay, my bad. Damn. I don't even remember who that was. Okay. All right. I'm super cool with that. All right, y'all. I know you can't see my face um, because my camera died, but thank you so much for playing along with me. The next chapter will be up next weekend. I hope that you enjoyed this one. This one was super fucking intense. Very intense. I'm feeling a lot of things. I want to know what you guys think about it in the comment section. So leave a little comment and let me know how I did. I think I did pretty good though. I'm pretty confident. I love you guys. Have a great freaking weekend. Love ya.